Worldwide, there are less than 100 cases of microcephalic osteodysplastic primordial dwarfism type 2. But what makes children born with this condition so extraordinary? The child scientist who passed O-level chemistry aged 7. It's extremely interesting to me to learn about all different walks of life. I've always been very inquisitive about extraordinary people, especially people who have the savant syndrome, which is a syndrome that gives people abilities that just can't be explained. For example, I'm sure a lot of you guys heard of Kim Peek. Well, he's the man that can remember everything that he's ever read or anything that he has heard. They made a movie about it. It's called Rain Man. It has Tom Cruise and Dustin Hoffman in it. It's really good. I highly recommend it. A lot of these conditions are linked with significant mental disabilities, but I'm not sure if I see it like that. I don't see it as a disability, more like an amazing ability. Just like I mentioned in the first part of this series, there is a contestant on AGT, America's Got Talent, at the time of this recording, and he is killing it. He's blind and he has a severe mental disorder. All right, buddy. All right, I'm gonna go back here now. How many, how many am I holding? I can't see them. You can't see them? <laughs> okay, alright, so Brett then. His name is Cody Lee, and he can't even hold a conversation. He can barely talk, but somehow this kid, he has this amazing singing ability, and he can also play the piano. I right now I really hope that he wins all right let's get right into this video and thank you guys so much for everyone who came back for part two so I'm your host for this one Landon do not sing and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video so this right here this is the top 10 extraordinary people you won't believe actually exist part two if you missed part one you guys can click right over here also don't forget we have new merch our most amazing merch is now available I'll put the link down below right now we're giving away 10% all you have to do is use promo code M a 10 and it gives you 10% off. All right, let's get started. Let's start how we always do with number 10. Well, let's actually talk more about Cody Lee. He's 22 years old and he has optic nerve hypoplasia, which is a medical condition arising from the underdevelopment of the optic nerve. This means Cody Lee is legally blind. He does have light perception, so he knows when lights are on or off. Cody is one of 25 known people who has his extraordinary abilities that allows him to play music and sing. All right, it was kind of hard to hear him because so many people were freaking out and I would be doing the same thing because he's so good. His audition blew me away. Let's move on to number nine. I want to introduce you guys to this little guy right here. This is Alex Canardi, who is an extraordinary boy from Liverpool. He is known to be Britain's only primordial dwarf. Primordial dwarfism is a very rare, often dangerous group of genetic conditions, and they result in a small and they result in a small body size or other growth abnormalities. First signs of this comes in the fetal stage, and for Alex's mother Sue, she was rushed to the hospital for an emergency C-section because it was too dangerous to still keep him inside. Doctors at this time knew what they were dealing with, but somehow Alex was able to be born really early and he was able to survive even though all the odds were against him. It was nice to meet you. Thank you so much for seeing us. Really, you're welcome. I honestly can't believe we've got here. We thought it'd take years, years and years. years and years, to be honest. Alex never grew past 35 inches and is known to be the tiniest boy in the world. The extraordinary memory is up next at number eight. We're talking about Ben Pridemore, who is a memory champion from Derby in the UK. Pridemore has also earned the prestigious title of Master of Memory. Well, this award is given to you if you're able to memorize 1,000 random digits in an hour. You can memorize the order of 10 decks of cards in an hour, and you can also memorize the order of one deck of cards in under two minutes. How fast can you memorize a deck of cards now? I think the best time I've ever done in practice was about 20 seconds, 20.28. We should be taking this guy to Vegas. Ben Pridemore only received this ability in his 20s. The key to Ben's memory genius is that he uses a different part of his brain to store new information compared to the rest of us. To remember cards, most of us would use our working memory, but this can only store up to seven new pieces of information, such as a phone number. 
This information is only held here for a few seconds before it's forgotten. Is that why phone numbers are only seven digits long? Because most of us won't be able to remember it if there was one extra digit, if there was eight digits to it. I struggle with my own phone number. Next up, number seven, we have Cameron Mott, a little girl who lives with only half a brain. When she was just three years old, Cameron was having very severe seizures. It would happen more and more to the point it was happening 10 or more times a day. This left her family fearful for her life. It took a very long time to diagnose what was going Went on and after many failed medications and failed diagnosis doctors were finally able to determine the cause of the seizures she was diagnosed with Rasmussen syndrome which is a very rare autoimmune disorder that causes deterioration of half the brain so she had to have surgery the surgery she needed is called a hemispherectomy which is a very risky but this is where surgeons are forced to remove half of this little girl's brain immediately after her successful surgery Cameron was left completely paralyzed on the left side of her body. This is every parent's a nightmare. I couldn't imagine this, but remarkably enough, after weeks went by and with the help of physical therapy, she was able to walk on her own. Six-year-old Cameron is recovering from nice. radical surgery and is making great strides. It's amazing to me that only nine or 10 days ago that she had half of her brain removed. From one of the bravest girls to now one of the strongest kids in the world is next up at number six. This right here is Juliana Schro, who was born in Romania and he has broken many records. He was only five years old when he broke his first world record. Mm. He was only five years old when he broke his first world record. I'm, thir I'm almost 30 now and I, I'm not, I'm the least talented person. Maybe that can be a record. Is this real life right now? That kid is extremely ripped. He started training at a very young age by his father. Now at number five, we have a Sultan Kosin, who is known as the current tallest person in the world. He's 36 years old from Mardin, Turkey, and he stands at eight feet, 2.8 inches. His growth resulted from a condition known as acromegaly, which was caused by a tumor affecting his pituitary gland. <laughs> For some reason, he doesn't even look real because he's just so tall and we're not used to seeing that. But because of his height, he does have severe troubles walking. A lot of people who have this condition, acromegaly, they don't stop growing. They just keep going until ultimately it leads to death. For Salsin Kosin, back in 2010, he was able to get treatment for his pituitary tumor at the University of Virginia Medical School and was provided medication to control his excessive levels of growth hormones. It seems to have stopped his rapid growth, but nothing can change the current height that he's at. Moving on to number four, I actually just quickly wanted to talk about the famous Robert Wadlow, who is an American man who set the record for the tallest men in the world, and this record has stood for the past 80 years. I don't know if in modern times, if anyone is going to beat that record. Robert Wadlow was almost nine feet tall, and he was only 22 years old. His growth never stopped. Unlike Sultan Kosin, who we just talked about, he wasn't able to walk on his own, but somehow Robert Wadlow at eight feet, 11 inches was able to support his height and he was able to walk. That is absolutely insane. His father isn't even short. I mean, the guy is six feet tall, but obviously in comparison, he's tiny. His parents had to make a decision when they found out about his condition, you know, whether or not to do a risky surgery that it could kill him. It can also save him. If the surgery was successful, he might have lived a longer life, but it was a risk. There was a second choice where they just let nature have its course. And his parents come from a very religious background, so they just let nature do its thing. All right, number three, we have Amy Ann Elliott and Kate Marie Elliott, who are known as the twins who were born the furthest time apart. Amy was born first on June 1st, 2012. She was four months premature, so when she was born, she was placed into intensive care where she fought for her life. And her twin brother was born 87 days later, About that's about three months. This is absolutely insane when you think about it. My best buddy is a twin and he was born like an hour after his brother. That just sounds crazy to me. Like, what were you doing for the hour? Imagine being born three months after. 
You know what's crazy? When I was doing research for this, for the twins, I actually found a video of myself on my old main channel, Land of Production, talking about them. It was so long ago, but I guess I will show you guys it. I'm super young, and I didn't have an awkward beard then. Yeah, I'm reading the comments, guys. I'm seeing what you guys are saying about this. I can't grow it properly. Hey, let me show you guys this picture. It's of these twin sisters, Katie and Amy. Well, they land themselves in the Guinness World Records book for having the longest intervals between the births of twins. Yeah, that's all you guys get. And how young do I look? Wow. Let's move on to number two. We have William Zhang, a six-year-old who is a piano prodigy. How does one's hand move so fast? He started at the age of one years old, despite everyone telling his parents that he'd be too young to start at that age. Usually you gotta wait till like three years old. Well, now he practices up to three hours a day. There's something about William Zhang people notice. Now number one, we have a child prodigy in chemistry, biology, mathematics, computer programming, and music. We're talking about Anan Akali. Akali gave his first public lecture at the age of six years old. I think I just got my first Pokemon then. At seven years old, he passed the GCSE chemistry course, which is a high school course. At nine years old, he was able to memorize and recite pi to 518 decimals. I, I can only do two, I, I memorized it. Um, 3.14, and I actually have it scripted up for me in front of me, so I, I didn't even. I'm pretty bad at memorizing stuff. Maybe that could be a world record, maybe. <laughs> That's pretty much the extent of my capabilities, and I don't even know why there are so many numbers after the point one four. I mean, it's it's just not necessary. Three point one four five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three two three eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine. Well, there you guys have it. This is the end of the video, and don't forget to check out the merch store. Click the link in the description down below. That's it for me, guys. I was your host, Landon. Do not sing, and I'll see you guys in the next most amazing top ten video.